I'm gonna rotate this around so I can get the other end. The, the dust collection on this thing is fabulous. I'm making huge clouds of dust and just not going anywhere except into the vacuum. I'm gonna get my spoke shave now and do this. This is a piece of old growth Douglas fir, I'm not Douglas fir, western red cedar that I salvaged from a deck job. And I'm making it into a canoe paddle that is uh, based on some of the old canoe paddles that my dad used to have from his Eagle Scout days in the 30s, I think. Except that I'm giving it a little different shape, like a modern racing paddle. I'm giving it a little bit of hollow shape this way and a little bit of a bend. And I've taken most of the wood that I can take off with a power plane, give it its basic shape. I'm gonna finish it up with a spoke shave and then we'll sand it for the last step. And I bought this spoke shave in a hardware store in Minneapolis. It's the same as any spoke shave that you could have bought from Stanley for 250 years or maybe 200 years. This, this tool was not quite usable when I got it. I had to regrind the chip breaker here. I'm gonna take it out and show you. I ground a bevel across here to make the chips flow out more easily and to give them a little more clearance so that the chips wouldn't get stuck in it when I use it. The other thing I did was put a razor sharp edge on this uh, you could take this blade out and shave hair off your arm with it. Like any tool, uh, spoke shave is maybe not quite as easy to use as it looks. It takes quite a bit of feel, like, like riding a bicycle almost. It's basically a very short plane. You've only got this much bed, so you have to be very careful not to let it stub its toe like this or ride backwards. You have to hold the flat part of the blade, I mean of the bed, firmly down onto the wood because it acts just like a plane, but the plane is very, very short. The other thing you have to stay on top of all the time is make sure you're going out of the grain. The grain comes up through this paddle, a little bit like this right here. So I'm gonna to have to shave this way right here. But when I come around here, I can see the grain is pointing out like this. So here, I'm gonna to have to shave this way. If I do that, I can get a surface that's almost ready to sand with 120 grit.